Hello again! Now, we're going to talk about how to have a better experience when you're traveling here in Nicaragua. Because just like any other country, people are going to be wary at first of strangers. And in general, Nicaraguans are really friendly to foreigners, okay? Here, it's not... It's not really about your skin. It's more about like the kind of clothes you wear, the body language, your eye contact. These are the big things here. In, in Nicaragua, it's like people, when you meet people or walk around, they will like look at you, look at your body, like they pay a lot of attention. Like you have to be a bit hesitant and cautious with people. There absolutely are people here who are trying to swindle foreigners and all this kind of thing, and anyone with money. Um, Nicaraguans call them charlatans. <laughs> if you wear sunglasses, people will think you're more sketchy. They need to be able to look you directly in the eye, and if your eyes are really red or something looks weird, they're gonna think you're more sketchy. They may think you're drunk. You might not be let into a building simply because you looked... Uh, hesitant in these things and looks like you are on something. So it's really important that you pay attention to kind of the way that what's in the way of this because if you're wearing masks and sunglasses and like a hat people will not trust you like you you are gonna have an unpleasant experience people will say you need to leave in certain situations so keep your face clear Make sure that people or the people you're interacting with can see your eyes, recognize your face. The thing people here really don't like is when the face is hidden. Once you're recognized a couple times, it'll be smooth. They know who you are. It's easy. You, your body language is really, really important. If you're moving erratically, like you're like, like this, you know, you're just getting up moving around like this, uh, you will attract attention in, in a bad way, so... You need to be maintaining eye contact with people like this, right? You shouldn't be like... If you're just breaking eye contact as soon as you make it, it's gonna make people feel sketched out by you, okay? And it's also gonna make people feel sketched out. If you're just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking, um, people aren't very quick to trust those who are obviously in a racing mind. And in general, foreigners, myself included, we are much more hyper-stimulated than people are here. So that doesn't mean your mind works faster, it means you've abused yourself, I've abused myself with overstimulating myself. With movies, shows, interesting things, being fascinated by stuff, learning about stuff, all this stuff. Whereas people here are more just calm, they're more kind of collected. Obviously not everybody is, but people are more used to having a slow, pleasant conversation that meanders back and forth and you take a little bit longer to get where you're going because of it. In general, that's how most people here are. I'm not saying everyone's like that. In the city especially, people are really fast moving and quick here. You don't really need to worry about your skin color or your religion, this kind of thing. Really, it's about can people see your face and your body language? If you're peaceful, calm, not talking too erratically all the time. It's gonna be fine. You'll be treated well. And you'll be able to just smile your way out of most unpleasantness. Okay? Thanks for watching. And remember, I offer consultations if you want to learn anything about Nicaragua. Or just talk to someone who's lived there for a while, ask something specific. You can book some time with me. It's $20 per 30 minute session. And you can access the link at the top link of the video in the description below. Or you can go to calendly.com slash Jack Dermot Pittman. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!